Hello, it is Monday, September 20th, 2021. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It is a Monday puzzle we are starting off the week with what is hopefully the easiest crossword of the week, which I need after yesterday's uh, yesterday's tough Sunday puzzle. I need a bit of a palate cleanser after that. Um, I am coming to the end of my holiday. I'm going to be flying back to London soon, and that might mean I have a break uh, from the daily puzzle. I hope not to, but the way that travel and testing and everything works, that might end up happening. So I do have a, uh, a bonus video I'll release if that's the case. You'll just have to wait and see, I suppose, or I will have to wait and see as well. Um, I'm hoping to do the standard Tuesday puzzle, but we'll see. Anyway, let's address some comments from yesterday's puzzle, and it being such a big Sunday puzzle, there were actually several. So let's get through them quickly. Circadian Wolf says, the Mr. Owl commercial for Tootsie Pops first aired in 1970. And this referred to a clue about Mr. Owl, which uh, confused me for quite a while. The answer ended up being Tootsie Pops, a type of candy. And Circadian Wolf says, I remember this commercial apart from being a shorter cut of it airing throughout my childhood in the the 90s. I wouldn't be surprised if some version is still today. And if you want to follow the link to that, it's in a comment in yesterday's video. Uh, Retris says, not only was there a biopic of Gotti in 2018, this was a, a film, biopic film of John Gotti that I inferred must have existed but had not heard of. So Retro says, not only did this film have John Travolta playing the title role, the movie was infamously bad and is considered one of the worst movies ever made. What is even weirder is that the movie apparently had involvement from Gotti's son, Junior, and portrays both Gotti and Gotti Jr. in a positive light and has cuts to interviews of people on the streets of New York about their thoughts on Gotti. The film received some attention for tampering with audience scores on movie review sites by leaving positive reviews from dummy accounts. That's funny, a bit of organized crime around the release of the film itself. Uh, John Gotti, if you are not aware, was a a famous um, New York area mobster. Okay. Bice Dibley says, at one point you said panda bear and corrected yourself that pandas aren't bears. Pandas are, in fact, after a few decades of research and debate, classified as bears again. And panda bear is okay. Also, I don't think you went back to it. I didn't. But passing through D.C. was eyes, referring to legislation. Feels like one that may not get a question mark some days. Yeah, that's true. I could see that going with or without a question mark. Um, So yes, I I remember seeing the clue, but it got filled with crosses and I never looked back on it. So passing through D.C., eyes, voting I on legislation in Congress in D.C., the District of Columbia, uh, the seat of the legislature in the United States. Christopher Shireholtz asks, who is the author you're referring to O. Henry being named after? And Caleb Wimble helpfully responds, O. Henry was the pseudonym of William Sidney Porter, an American short story writer known for his sentimentality and twist endings like The Gift of the Magi. Um, Brian D. writes in with a very interesting piece of information. There is an official name for a clue that describes the theme, which I often clumsily refer to as the explanatory theme answer. Uh, Brian D. uh, informs me that the actual name is The Revealer, so I'll have to remember that going forward. Paul Carroll asks, is there a reason you never use the pencil mode for letters you're not sure about? Does it add too much clutter? There's a simple answer, which is that I never remember it exists. And that's about it. So let's get on with this Monday puzzle. This is a crossword by Pau Roy, and it is edited, as always, by Will Shorts. Ready to get started? Okay. So what lava becomes after an eruption? That would be magma. The L of LSU, Uh, this will be a university and almost always in American universities anyway, the S stands for state. I'm sure that's plenty of cases in which that's not true, but that is often true. Number of provinces in Canada, six, maybe? Opposite of loose, Uh, nope, it would be 10, I guess, because opposite of loose is taught and we have to fit a number in there. Sorry about that, Canadians. Safeguards for tightrope walkers would be nets. Disney princess voiced by Adina Menzel. Oh, this would uh, this is from Frozen. I do know that. Um, Elsa. Elsa from Frozen. Also, <laughs> 
because there's a little bit of overlap here, <laughs> one of my favorite moments in television history is when uh, John Travolta, who we just referenced as being the star of the film Gotti, mispronounced Adina Menzel's name at the Oscars, I guess, as Adele Dazim. An incredible uh, sort of malapropism. Okay, Latvia's capital. Um, I'll know it when I see it, I'm sure. Solitary. Is magma wrong? Aid in solving a mix. Maybe magma is wrong. What lava becomes after an eruption? Rocks? Uh, solitary could be lone. Aid in solving a mystery could be a clue. Dennings of Two Broke Girls. Two Broke Girls, I think, came up yesterday, and I didn't know it then either. Land between Norway and Finland. Is it Sweden? Let's check the crosses. College official could be a dean. Word before the tables or the tide could be turn, as in turn the tables or turn the tide. To grow older is to age. Couches could be seats, I suppose. P products of Pilot and Bic, those are both pen brands. The official bird of Hawaii um, is the, I'm going to say this wrong probably, the Neen or the Nini, Neen. I'm not sure. I know how it's spelled. I don't know how it's spoken clearly. So what is this? This is probably one of our theme answers. It's quite long. Pizza feature for a specialized diet. Oh, a gluten-free crust maybe? Or something? Let's see. Maybe loan is soul. And then if we had gluten. Oh, what is this? Oh, C's. I, I misspelled what I intended to spell, which was incorrect anyway. Couches is sofas. So then we have, sorry, this has been a bit of a mess of a solve, hasn't it? Gluten-free crust. Here we have this blank to do the trick. This ought to do the trick. Finally. This fill ought to do the trick after quite a lot of bumbling around here. And the list goes on. Could this be et cetera, et cetera? Oh, maybe it's the full spelling of et cetera. That, that's, there you go. That's what ETC stands for, by the way, et cetera. Okay, non-binary pronoun pair. Um, them, they, perhaps? I don't know the order in which they come, though. But fortunately, they share most of the same letters, so we can fill most of this in. A lead-in to girl or boy could be atta. Also, <laughs> lead-in to girl or boy could be they or them, because those are uh, non-gender-specific pronouns. So that's sort of a funny cross. Genetic messenger is RNA, messenger RNA, mRNA, actually one of the technologies used in um, the current vaccines, or some of them. Uh, right. Gossiping types, ah, this is a bit of Yiddish, this is yentas, so that clarifies that it is a they first and then them in this particular arrangement. A pain could be an ache. Volcanic emissions, oh, more volcanic stuff, because ashes. Played a part on stage. If you played a part on stage, you acted in that play on the stage. Classic arcade game set in outer space. Asteroids. And I, it's probably fairly common knowledge, but even if you didn't know it, asteroids are in outer space, so you might be able to infer. Your starting squad presumably is your A-team. That A-team comes up in the crossword not infrequently as a general way of describing sort of not even in a sport context explicitly, but just highly qualified people. Dress like for a costume party, say, could be go as, and I'm starting to get a little far afield here. So let's jump back up to the top of the puzzle. I think there's things I haven't even seen yet. Yes, nay's opposite I have not even seen, which I would think to be yay. So then what would clue be? Aid in solving a mystery. Nay's opposite. Maybe that's wrong. What is this? Latvia's capital. This is aid in solving a mystery. Is that wrong? Dennings of Two Broke Girls, and then this is Relative by Marriage. Oh, sorry. Once again, Solitary is incorrect. So indeed, this um, this fill, well, I thought it ought to do the trick. It certainly didn't do the trick. This is, what did I just say? Only, I suppose. And then nay's opposite is I. And then Relative by Marriage is an in-law. Oh, and Latvia's capital is Riga. Sorry, I should have remembered that myself. 
So then what is this? What lava becomes after an eruption? Oh, it is rocks. Oh, that's what I said. <laughs> okay. I said that, but I had so many other things incorrect that it did me no good whatsoever. So, um, Kat Dennings of Two Broke Girls looks correct now. Okay. The river between 37 Parisian bridges, the Seine, surely, to excite as curiosity could be to pique one's curiosity. Um, five in French is cinq, C-I-N-K, uh, Q, sorry. To follow shortly thereafter is to ensue. One named R&B singer with the 1999 six times platinum album, Unleash the Dragon. Is it Cisco? I'm just guessing that I don't actually know that song, which is surprising because it was <laughs> went platinum six times over. But based on the fill, sticky part of a gecko could be a toe. That would make sense, wouldn't it? A group in a playbill could be a cast. The cast that acts in a dramatic production. That was in here somewhere, wasn't it? Where was that? Doesn't really matter, does it? Okay. Here we have cleaned as a window, could be squeegeed, um, used one of those, um, I guess, sort of foam scraper uh, devices to get uh, water and dirt off of a window. Take on a position along with its responsibilities would be to assume the mantle. Second hand could be used as in a car. One just passing time could be an idler, someone who idles. Essentially what I'm doing with these crosswords. Thin and graceful is lithe. A contemptuous look could be a sneer. A storage for garden tools is a shed. A rival could be an onset. An iota. Um, I feel as though that could be a couple things, actually. An iota, a very, very tiny amount of something. Former Iranian leader could be the Shah, uh, deposed in 1979. Oh, an iota could be a wit, not a wit, right. So I had, <laughs> I had not a wit of a clue about what was going on in this northwestern quadrant. Not an iota, did I understand, apparently. A prime time hour. Prime time is uh, sort of late evening, I guess, 9 p.m. Oh, here we go. <laughs> what This is great. What lava is before an eruption is what I thought it was after an eruption, which is magma. I'm glad that's been sorted out by the crossword. That is very clever. I wouldn't be surprised at all if Pau Roy expected that exact um, set of assumptions and had a bit of misdirection in there. So crumbly salad cheese is feta cheese, Greek cheese. Blank noir wine is a Pinot noir type of red wine. A big night for a high schooler is prom. A serenade, for instance, is a song. You could serenade someone by singing to them. So let's check this cross. Letters on a bottle of tanning lotion, SPF, sun protection factor, I think. Zero Dark Thirty organization must be the CEA, CE, CIA, I'm sorry, the Central Intelligence Agency. I didn't see that film, but it's pretty clear from the crosses. One piece of evidence of a planet's habitability would be water. If a planet has water, it's much more likely to be habitable. Los Angeles NBA player, let's come back to that. Clean up on blank five. Clean up on aisle five, a supermarket worker might call out over the PA system. Rapper J blank, not sure. This looks like it's going to, oh, here we go. James who played Sonny Corleone is James Kahn in The Godfather. Oh, J. Cole maybe? That sort of sounds familiar. Let's check the crosses. Lacking any moral compass could be off, uh, Something to the core, amoral to the core, perhaps? No, you wouldn't have more, you wouldn't have amoral in an answer in which moral appears. Um, I actually don't know what that is. So a chastising syllable is tisk, as in tisk tisk. It's what I should have said to myself after that initial fill. So if this is that I think that is J. Cole, the uh, the rapper. It's all about me, me, me. Uh egotism, egocentricity, ego. Mania, there we go. <laughs> Took me a little moment there. Los Angeles NBA player, okay, that looks like Laker, the team, or member of the team. A business announcement involving billions of dollars may well be a mega deal. Oh, rotten to the core is lacking any moral compass, right. An Eastern place of worship. Um, 
Oh, a, pag- a pagoda, I bet. With that DA at the a pagoda. And then sweltering would be hot. Soccer great Mia Ham. Actr- oh, sorry. I read that as actress God, and I thought, wow, what a fascinating name for an actress. No, to address God is to pray. Top notch would be A1. Classic Pontiac muscle cars, GTO, Pontiac GTO. Year in Spain is an año, and affirmative is yes. And there we go. There's the Monday puzzle. That was a nice, uh, I thought a nice fun puzzle. More misdirection than I usually assume I'll see in a Monday. Maybe not misdirection per se, but maybe a bit of ambiguity. And perhaps this lava bit being misdirection, but only misdirection that relies on lack of knowledge. It's not, it's not misdirection in the sense that it's unfair or anything like that. I mean, I simply got it wrong, but I would imagine many people might make the same mistake. Um, there was more ambiguity, I suppose, than I would ordinarily assume in a Monday puzzle. In other words, things that could be solved a few ways, but I think that was mainly down to my own mistakes. So do let me know how you fare. I'm curious if, if others had a similar experience to mine. So I think this clue, take on a position along with its responsibilities, assume the mantle. I wonder if mantle is getting at something about the earth's crust, which is sort of creating a loose theme around volcanoes, perhaps, because we have ashes crossing it here, mantle, rocks, magma. I think that might be the case. It's it's a loose theme, so I don't know that I would go so far as to describe this as a revealer, as we now know it's called. Um, it seems more like a collection of related clues that maybe don't have a, any strong uh, rule or anything like that. But I thought a fun Monday puzzle that gave me a bit more challenge maybe than is typical for a Monday. Do let me know how you fared. I am putting the finishing touches on the um, Patreon campaign. My intention, I think, is to have a public um, Discord server with a private channel and particular roles on the Discord server to sort of credit people for being Patreon backers and then to give them a, a um, an exclusive chat room within the Discord server that the rest of which is public. So that's my current thinking, if you're familiar with Discord, which is a, um, a free online uh, chat room service, I suppose. And uh, the rest of the Patreon benefits I'm, I'm finishing up right now. I hope you all like it. I will take feedback, of course. We'll see how it goes. That should be up in the next couple of days once I suppose I'm back home and things are maybe a little more normal. Anyway, if you're enjoying this series, please do subscribe to the channel. Um, easy to do, and you'll be uh, it'll make it much easier to see these videos as they go up each morning, which they do. And uh, if you think you know someone who might be uh, a bit more informed when it comes to volcanoes, maybe than I am, and they would like to e-yell at the screen about me failing to, (laughs) repeatedly failing to understand how all of this works, then why not pass this series along to them? Maybe they would enjoy it. And if you would like to toss me a couple of quid or a few bucks on my coffee donation page um, for the time being, that is linked underneath each video in the description field. And as I've said before, those who are donating on a monthly recurring basis will get the um, the videos, the bonus videos that I put out on the Patreon. I don't know if I'll be able to translate things like the Discord benefits over with my current coffee setup, but the bonus videos will indeed go up on there. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope to see you again for the Tuesday Solve, whether or not it is indeed the Tuesday Solve. I hope you join me on the channel for whatever video goes up tomorrow, Tuesdays or otherwise. And with that, I hope you have an excellent rest of your Monday. Take care. (laughs) 